New tonight, high school students are taking a stand, showing up to this meeting with tape over their mouths, saying the university school in Greeley is using intimidation tactics. 7 News reporter Sally Mamdu was in that meeting tonight, and Sally, those students are making their message clear. That's right. A lot of upset and frustrated parents tonight in that meeting. They say the administration has gone too far and that there is disparity in punishment. And tonight, they want change or that administration gone. They duct taped their mouths to send their school officials a message as their parents asked for change. They are stepping over boundaries. They are pushing the limit. They are doing things that they shouldn't do. Others are asking for resignations. I personally want Holly and Ryan's resignation, me personally. Whether anybody else wants it or not, it's totally up to them. This all stems from last week's game suspensions of several student athletes. The school says they violated policy when they attended a party where alcohol and drugs were present. Last week when they were questioning all of us, we all just felt interrogated and bullied by the administration. This student, who was among those suspended, says this treatment by the administration Try to break us down to get information that they wanted. Is what brought parents before the board tonight. His concerns to us are these. The administration is distant and accusatory. Parents here aren't angry over the suspensions, but rather the intimidation process they say the administration continues to use. And as tensions grew, parents walked out, in the end upset as the board sided with the administration. I feel like they were already kind of told this is what it is, and they're on, they're on their own board, and that has nothing to do with us. Now, at the end of that meeting, the board did say that they will do some self-reflection. They will look at policy and procedures and see if changes need to be made. For now, we're live in Greeley. Sally Mabdu, 7 News.